What's up, Dorkalicious? My name is Lydia. Yeah, I'm Kitty G. And today we're going to be talking about... Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This looks like a reboot of the series, or uh, I don't really know anything. We're actually going completely blind into this trailer, but from what I can gather, it is not like a reboot, but like a, like a soft reboot. Oh, okay. Thing, right? There's already been a game called Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Is there, I feel like there's been lots of Call of Duty games. Black Ops, yes, Rainbow Six. But only a couple Six. that were Modern Warfare. I think only three. Is Rainbow Six Call of Duty? Uh, no, that's a different Call Tom Clancy! Tom Clancy's no! Rainbow Six. No! Okay, sorry. Anyway! It's shooty, shooty game. It's another first person shooter in the long list of first person shooters. Yes! Call of Duty, in a lot of ways, has fallen to the wayside as it became a yearly title like Madden or NHL or NBA or what, what have you, right? Uh, people had practically grown bored of Call of Duty in a lot of ways. Has Fortnite replaced Call of Duty? Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I think Call of Duty, and this is before we watched the trailer, I think Call of Duty's only way of weaseling its way into people's hearts is through story having an amazing story because rehashing world war ii oh God. i hope not i hope that's not what they're doing but it's, a, it's called modern warfare it's oh, not okay never mind, never the mind. original call of duties were actually set in world war ii oh okay but this is modern warfare i see so uh it's gonna be modern anyways yeah. let's just jump into it and then you can give your thoughts after okay actual in-game footage oh that's nice RP. The rules have changed. Australia? There's a fine line between right and wrong. And somewhere in the shadows. Looks like they're playing airsoft. They send us into fire. They're playing airsoft? Mm -hmm. With an iPhone on his head. <laughs> <laughs> He's got night vision goggles. But he's smoking a cigar! Yeah, which would totally give him away. That looks Whoa, real! Those are really good wow. graphics! Wow! Wow, that is impressive graphics! Wow. Oh boy! Ooh. Oh, that's aggressive! Terrorist? Oh, it's definitely a modern setting. Wow. And they love their Middle Eastern settings too. Oh, fire! Fire bad. Oh, they're attacking an embassy, maybe? Oh, boy. Ooh! Oh, dear. Uh, oh looks dear. like the Middle East. Oh, that looks peaceful. Oh. Bioweapons? Did you see that? Yeah, he was wearing a mask. Modern... Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Oh. That looked very scary. <laughs> and coming out during the scary month! October. October. That sounds like the guy who did Thor. Is that no, Australian that's accent? not him. No, I know it's not him. I just like I think it's Australian. And that facial hair, very nice. Um, I don't know. It seemed uh, very dark, but I like this man's beard, and he's ah. smoking like solid snake would. So it's. Means his badassery. Is These on graphics the right here yeah, they look, look really so good. real. I don't know about the whole trailer, but definitely right here. Yeah. This sequence right here looks as real as, as it people. could possibly be. And like even look at the at the texture of like the duct tape on the guy's head. Like it's brilliant. Yeah, the duct tape, the duct tape that's holding, I guess, his night vision stuff on but like even right? like the how the light reflects like it's very real the texture and yeah. the metal here and like if and you go the back crumbling just, of the brick just one one more thing there he has a reflective thing on his shoulder and it's like here it's how is it that the look. british flag that might be the british yeah, flag yeah i think you're right yeah i like it like i like the um the definitely the character design is good that looks like so much fun to do that looks Jumping super out of a plane. cool Going all solid snake. I was gonna say, yeah, Halo, Halo, Halo three. jumps. So this looks very like New Yorky, and it's desert. -ish. And then obviously this is like Afghanistan or Iraq or something. 
Somewhere in the Middle East. That looks like that looks like an embassy, human. right? This looks like an embassy being raided. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, because it's gated. It's gated. It's a gated community that's being broken into. Yeah, and they're like, "That's it. I and had then enough maybe of these are ho- these are survivors oh. or hostages they took from the embassy." I don't know. Watch here. No, oh, they're no. Shooting. Here comes oh, hi, a, meow, meow. An attacking cat. She has wants come to, to come the... and watch Call of Duty. And that kid's somewhere else where the bioweapon was released. Yeah, that's not very nice. The graphics look so good. It does. And the accent, very good. Facial hair, lovely. (laughs) The Um, the accent, so good. Yeah, no, no. I mean, like, it looks good. I mean, like, uh, this is not a game I would play because it's too violent and angry. But it looks very good. So to people who like... Call of Duty, I think you should play this game because it looks pretty nice. And they obviously did a lot of effort in the character design. Um, it does say that it was real game play footage. But yeah, I don't know which part. Which is crazy. All of it? it can, there's no way that all of it could be the actual gameplay. What's it coming to? Is it Xbox? Somehow? Hmm, I don't know. It's a great question. It's almost too pretty. Yeah. It's almost too pretty. Like, what's it coming out on? Yes. What I'm what console confused. could like, render this? Is it just this? PC? Oh, let's read it. Can I read it? That sounds fun. Sure. Prepare to go dark. Modern Warfare is back. The stakes have never been higher as players take on the role of lethal tier one operators in a heart racing saga that will affect the global balance of power. <laughs> Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and Ghost fans in an incredible, raw, gritty, proactive narrative that brings unrivaled intensity and shines a light on the changing nature of modern war. Mm. Developed by the studio that started it all, Infinity War develop- delivers an epic reimagining of the iconic Modern Warfare series from the ground up. Oh, so it's like a complete reboot? Mm. In the visceral and dramatic single-player story campaign, Call of Duty Modern Warfare pushes boundaries and breaks rules the way only Modern Warfare can. Players will engage in breathtaking covert operations alongside a diverse cast of international special forces throughout iconic European cities and volatile expanses of the Middle East. And the story doesn't end there. Mm. In Call of Duty Modern Warfare, players will be thrust into an immersive narrative spanning the entire game. Players can experience the ultimate online playground with classic multiplayer or squad up and play cooperatively in a collection of elite operations accessible to all skill levels. Oh, that's nice. Call of Duty Modern Warfare arrives uh, October 25th, So they 2019. do have co-op, which is cool. That'll be nice. Uh, classic multiplayer, which is like deathmatch. Um. Hmm. What's it does it coming sound... to though? Huh? It doesn't say what what it console doesn't say can what take it on. Doesn't say what platforms it's coming to. But okay, here I see it here. Xbox. For Xbox. One. Yeah. So Xbox One, and of course, if it's coming to Xbox One, uh, it'll be coming to PS4. Looks like well. yeah, PS4. So... Wait, no, no, no. Hold on. That one was released in 2017. So no, it's no. If it's coming to Xbox. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's PS4. If it's coming to one, it's coming to the other. That's okay. just how it is. Interesting. Anyways, game looks good. Graphics look incredible. They do. I mean, look at these screenshots, right? Wow. So pretty. Wow. I'm really wondering how much of this is really in game and how much of this is like pre rendered. Mm-hmm. Because that looks really impressive. It does. Really, really impressive. I'm not even a big first-person shooter guy, but it looks so impressive that maybe, maybe I'll pick it up secondhand. It's not something I would buy firsthand just because these campaigns are only like six hours long usually. I see. Right? It's, yeah. in my opinion, not worth, in Canadian dollars, it's like 90 something. Oh. Uh, so in my opinion, for ninety dollars, it's not worth the money. Fair, but uh, yeah, definitely. Could definitely, you meet up uh, at a dark a, gas station at nighttime? Absolutely. Definitely worth buying off some sketchy dude in an alleyway. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, that's all there is to say for now. <laughs> yeah, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Give us a couple of likes and a share. Likes are very important for our channel because our channel is tiny and we need more exposure. And then whatever we're talking about, you will give more exposure to Call of Duty Modern Warfare as well. Yes. Yes, so please uh, like, hit the subscribe button if you're feeling fancy. And um, we're also on uh, Twitter. Our handle is you are Dorkalicious. We also stream live on Twitch. So please follow our channel, super underscore Dorkalicious. And it's been fun dorking it with you. Leave a comment below what you think. It's been Lydia. Yeah, I'm Kenny G. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, this is Lydia. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Give us a couple likes and a share. The likes are super important because every time you like, it gives our uh, channel a bit more exposure. So please like. If you don't want to follow, at least like like please 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 also um if you want to chat please leave a comment uh, down below also if you want to chat more frequently we are on twitch uh the channel is called super underscore dorkalicious and we stream pretty much daily and uh we stream like video games karaoke fun stuff so just uh pop on over to twitch super underscore dorkalicious and definitely engage with us so um but for now, please like and share and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.